Die, Imperial, die! <laughs> This is the sneaky story of the hidden murderer Chalise, and how to deal with a deadly Argonian when submerged in water. Post disposing of the unarmed brawler Khajiit in the wintry Bruma, our quest updates reading. Jagasta is dead. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the rotten box under the old bridge just south of the Imperial City. Riding along the red-ringed road as twilight falls upon us, we search the landmark of the old bridge, basking in the shadow of the Imperial City. As promised, we find under said bridge a wooden crate that looks to be soaked through. Inside, we grasp the next dead drop note. Curiously, again we find it's not a sealed envelope, but scrawled in a new freehand on a piece of crumpled paper, sopping and barely held together. Heading to our next target with contract in hand, to the south, just above Breville, the note reads, Jagasta is dead. Well done. I was right about you, Silencer. You are a useful tool indeed. Let's see if you can continue to impress me. You must journey now to the flooded mine. There you will find Shelley's, an Argonian hunter who was banished from her village near the Black Marsh slash Morrowind border for the brutal murder of a dark elven family. Relatives of the murdered family members have located Shelley's and demand retribution. Be warned, Silencer. Shaliz is a skilled and deadly hunter, and will fight like the desperate fugitive she is. After Shaliz has been eliminated, your reward and another contract will be waiting at the dead drop located in a coffin just outside the ruins of Fort Redman. We arrive at the flooded mine to find it's a cave that burrows deep, presumably below the Nibbon, hence the flooding. Entering the mine, we see indeed the shaft is full of water, even at its entrance, and we decidedly discard our newly found Brotherhood robe in lieu of slipping back into the more streamlined, shrouded armor, before snuffing our torch and casting torchlight instead. As we wade into the deep, murky waters in search of the dangerous and errant Argonian, as the cave system splits off, we swim north into the Western Passage, not before coming across a small chest of gold. However, this may be a trap, as our dallying has dire consequences and our lungs scream for air as we frantically paddle into a nearby open cave. <laughs> it's then we realize, with a sense of dread, why the Argonian has chosen this god's forsaken bilge dump. The lizards, native to Black Marsh, can breathe underwater and would bet on most folk being prey in their natural habitat. After locating one of many small chests scattered about in a northeastern nook, we loot its contents and dive back into the unforgiving depths. Heading east this time, we emerge to see we're in more shallow area and a dim light dancing on the cave wall. Recklessly, we splash about the cave, making for dry land, and find ourselves inside a small alcove, which serves as Shaliza's camp. The Argonian pounces on us for our trespassing, forcing us back into the deadly waters, and knocking our weapon aside, <coughs> drowns us in the shallows. <coughs> the scent is foul. Instead of dashing headlong into the camp, we can instead creep up to the Argonian and hit her with an arrow. Where are you? As it soon becomes apparent, she wields a deadly sword of disintegrate, and we lose our dagger and sword in the scuffle. With no chance of talking our way out of the predicament, we're forced to fight unarmed and do the unthinkable as we desperately cast a spell of water breathing before diving into the gloom that Shalise calls home. Thrashing through the water, the Argonian is hot on our heels 
and we realize our only saving grace from her gliding up to us is the weight of her chainmail armor. After being turned around in a dead end, we nearly lose our life to her elven blade once more. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you becomes sputtering out of the water, finally at the cave's entrance, back onto dry land. Unarmed, with the Argonian still in full flight behind us, we then break our way through the door and remember our scuffle with the cave-dwelling Draconis well, and begin to dance around Shadowmere, who is quicker than both us and the Argonian in our sopping state. Our shadowy steed then brutally bucks the surprised lizard. We take the opportunity, fists balled, to slam our hands down on the head of Shalise so hard it breaks her exposed neck with a snap. Ah! Ah! A journal then updates reading, Shalise is dead. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the coffin just outside the ruins of Fort Redman. On the Argonian's body, we find the source of our trouble. Two foul blades, a long and short sword of brittleness, causing 60 disintegrate strike on our weapons, having them crumble in our hands. With our target dead, we then begin the long journey to Fort Redman for our promised reward. To arms, to arms.